Hello, I'm Dr Libby Smith and I am the EPQ coordinator at HSDC Alton. So I want to tell you a little bit about the extended project qualification so you can find out and think about whether you would like to do one when you join us. So what does it involve? It's a research project and the exciting thing about the EPQ is you can choose whatever topic you want to do your EPQ project on. So it doesn't have to be anything to do with any existing topics or subjects that you've chosen to do. It can be absolutely just something you are passionately interested about. You will spend 120 hours on this qualification and it's mainly on research. So you'll be developing your research skills. You will have timetable sessions which will help you develop skills such as uh, time organisation, researching, producing bibliographies, uh, writing uh, structured, concise, logically ordered essays, and also reflecting on your strengths and weaknesses as you go along. You will be producing an essay and you will also be doing a presentation to your peers. You have a choice at how you um, show your findings. You could either do a 5,000 word essay or you could do something called an artifact. It's, that's when you make something. So that could be like a film. It could be a book. It could be a drama production. It could be whatever you like. But you do also have to produce a short essay with that along, alongside that artifact as well. Everybody has to do a presentation but that is just to an audience of their choosing. The EPQ is brilliant because it involves absolutely no exams at all. It's 100% coursework assessed and it's marked by your supervisor. And the four assessment objectives are looking at things like your time management, your research skills, your project development, and how you reviewed your progress at the end. So it's very different to a normal A-level subject. We get fantastic results with the EPQ at Alton. So in 2019, 84% of our students either got an A star, an A or a B. And of those, nearly a half, 50%, sorry, of all EPQ students got an A star. So it's a very good qualification to do and you can get a very high grade out of it. Universities really like the skills that the EPQ develops because those are the skills that they want you to be using at university. So independent working skills. And some universities like Manchester, Southampton will offer you uh, a lower offer for when you go to university. So they'll say, um, if you join us and you have an EPQ, you don't get, need to get such high grades in your A-level subject. Students pick whatever title they choose. So this is just a selection of some of this year's EPQ students. So we've had one on economics, looking at the Greek financial crisis. Uh, one looking at uh, sibling relationships and how they're impacted by autism. What's the best way to reduce youth crime in London? And to what extent does veganism mitigate environmental damage? Obviously a very popular topic at the moment. And some of these titles on this slide will show you that some of our artifacts that have been uh, made. So one of our students built uh, their own musical instrument to try to reduce the risk of, of repetitive strain injury. The next one, the Spanish flu pandemic, is obviously very um, relevant to our current COVID-19 crisis. And so the student was looking at this and to find um, what extent did it impact the UK population? So again, a very uh, current uh, area of interest. And here's another artifact. How can writing and illustrating a children's book for five to seven year olds set in ancient Greece uh, provide both entertainment and teach about the seven wonders of the ancient world? So that's packing in a lot of research there. And then lots of our students going on to medicine will do an EPQ. So here's one which will be useful for a medical uh, uh, career. Which treatment for tick disorders would be the best option for the majority of patients? So students doing EPQ are often asked about this in their university interviews. And it's great because then they are the expert on that particular topic that they've chosen. So that's a little bit about the EPQ. If you have any questions, 
um, email me Dr Libby Smith at um, HSDC Alton and I will be able to answer those questions for you. Thank you.